Wow, we're getting way down into the weeds on this nut, but uh, I think we're almost done. But we have one more issue. When we created this plane here, this plane is our, uh, it represents our nut height parameter, right? Exactly, this is exactly where the nut height should be, uh, which means that the strings should rest exactly on this surface. So, if we were to cut little notches into this, that would put the strings too low, meaning they would buzz against the, uh, against the, the frets further on down the fretboard. So what we need to do is extend this up first and then cut down into it to create our, uh, the, the locations for our strings. And so first of all, let's go to our Direct Editing tab and do uh, an offset. We're going to offset this face up by one millimeter is fine. That's going to make it a sharp corner, which is probably not ideal. So let's go ahead and grab our uh, round tool. We just round that off by, you know, a half millimeter or something. That looks pretty good, no problem. And then we can actually cut into that to create our notches, and those will put our uh, strings at the exact correct height. So let's go to our front plane and create a sketch. Alrighty. And grab my corner rectangle tool. And just draw a rectangle right over this. I'm going to grab my line tool, and my center line tool actually, and do a line straight down the middle here snapping to the midpoints of the top and bottom of this rectangle. Uh, click on, control click on the first point of our string locations, that high E string location. Put a midpoint constraint on that. I'm going to grab a, uh, let's put a fillet right across here. We're going to call that one millimeter straight across. And then from top to bottom, we could define some absurdly long distance. Let's just say it's 20 millimeters, just something so that it's Good and big, out of the way. All right, we'll say do an extrude cut. Now with the extrude cut dialog, we can actually offset the point from which this cut begins. Right now, this by default, the cut begins right where the sketch is, right? Well, right here in this from area, we can actually change that. Let's say offset. We're going to offset that up by, let's say, 40 millimeters. So this extrude is starting 40 millimeters above the sketch plane meaning that we can come down into our, uh, into our part, which is a really handy thing to be able to do. And instead of blind, we want to go up to surface, because we want to go straight down to that, uh, to that surface that we created for the, that represents the nut height. So let's find that surface. I'm going to show that surface body here. We can see it there. Let's select that surface, and now we're coming straight down to that surface, you can see. So just boom, right down to the correct spot, click OK. And now we have a notch that comes exactly to the height that we want. So we can hide this surface again. Probably have to come over here to do it. There we go. I'm going to add a fillet to this. Let's add a 0.4 millimeter fillet right in here so it just, just fits. Looks good, nice. So we have a, our first notch for our high E string. And then we can come over here to our pattern tools. Let's do a sketch driven pattern. We're going to choose that uh, string locations sketch. And under features to pattern, let's choose our cut extrude and also this fillet. We want both the cut extrude and the fillet to be patterned which is one of the great things about feature patterns in SOLIDWORKS. Really great stuff. And now we have notches in place for our strings. And if we want to, just to finish this guy up, we could come through here and uh, add some minor, minor radii to some of these edges where we want them. I think we want one on each of these guys as well as maybe on the back of this thing, probably across there. That looks decent. Um, I think that'll do. Okay. Nice. So we have little tiny fillets. So we got some highlights on there that are going to cast nicely. And we have a finished nut. Let's hide this uh, sketch. And uh, we are in good shape.